Hello everyone. Welcome. And so I'm going to bring in the Pleiadians to share with you their message about this new moon in Gemini. Oh, we are delighted uh, to be with you and to uh, talk to you a little bit about this uh, new moon that is coming up. Um, and uh, what is it about? Uh, you see, Gemini energy has everything to do with uh, movement. Uh, it is never still. Gemini is never still, not even in sleep very much. They often move around in sleep. So the new moon is about finding your movement, finding your flow, finding your rhythm, and allowing that to change as you go about your day. You may find that you wake up with a fast rhythm and gradually it slows down and then all of a sudden it slows down even more. Pay attention to the rhythm of your body. The body has an intelligence that is beyond thought. It goes beyond what you think. The body is able to communicate with you not necessarily through your thoughts, but differently. Tune into the movement of your body. This new moon is an opportunity to have a little play. Children are very in tune with their bodies. They haven't developed thinking, very little children, and they're very in tune, aren't they? They're up and down and round and swinging and up and about and trying this and that and the other. See if you can get into in tune with that part of you for this new moon in Gemini you'll find that your energy levels will be much higher. You won't feel depleted. You see, you just need to know when to move and when to go slower. You see, with animals, sometimes they're very still and very quiet. All of a sudden, they're off running here and running there. It's finding that balance. Gemini is all about finding a balance. And it's the balance between the body and the mind. The mind is always active, always, always, and especially with Gemini energy, it's a very mental energy, and the mind is saying, do this, do that, do the other, all over, all over, all over. So it's the integration of the physical body and the sensations of the body, and listening to those separate from the mind, not allowing the mind to encroach on everything, everything, because it does, doesn't it? Right here, right now, you're thinking this and that and the other, oh, you know, what's, what are they saying and why are they saying this and analysing things. What are you feeling? What are you feeling? So this is a playful full moon. New moon, ah, full new moon, ah. It's a playful moon. Remember to play. Think of little children. Gemini is a very childlike sign in many ways. There is a very childlike way to the Gemini energy. So remember the child. Remember the joy. And bring that in. Isn't it wonderful just to be, just to look at one another like this? We're looking at you. Uh -uh. You're looking at us through Barbara. And it's joyful, isn't it? All the energies that are unseen around you that are skipping and dancing. You can imagine them right now. Just imagine all the little elves and pixies and fairies. And yes, you don't have to believe in it, but there are all kinds of playful energies around, you know. You know how it is when you're around friends and they're having a good old laugh? You can't help but be infected and laugh with them, even if you don't know what they're laughing about. Ah, <laughs> do you? So you don't have to know what the joke is, but just laugh. <laughs> you can ask even for joy spirits to come in and be with you, you see. We're tweaking at Barbara now. <gasps> you see, you can have a little tweak. She's uncomfortable with this on camera, but you know, it's all right. just a few of our little suggestions to you at the time of this new moon in Gemini. And we love you all very, very much. And as always, there is so much to say and so much more. And uh, we enjoy our time with you. And we're bringing our Barbara back now. <clears throat> ah. 
Hi, and I hope you enjoyed that. It's always a stretch because I never ever know what is coming. And um, thank you to so many of you for your support, your encouragement with this, with, with sharing it. Um, I've had a few strange comments, not very many, I have to say most are extremely positive, uh, but comments uh, that were a little disturbing where people were saying, you know, why are you speaking in that silly voice? And um, uh, that they thought I was a professional astrologer and that I'm somehow discrediting the profession of astrology by doing uh, the channeling. And um, all I can say is that um, the channeling has, I feel, enhanced and is enhancing my understanding and creativity around the interpretation of the astrology. And um, it's a journey. What can I say? It's always a journey. The astrology I've been doing for over 40 years now, I still love it differently now. It's wider, it's bigger. And um, it has to change considerably. Uranus is ruler of astrology. Uranus in Taurus, there are going to be some big changes, I think, as well, into astrology for a different consciousness, a different kind of human being. But more about that maybe on a live stream where we can interact with one another and uh, you can ask questions. So thanks very much for listening. Bye for now.